Okay, so here's part three of factoring techniques. This is a uh, type of question that a lot of you seem to have questions on, so let's take a look at this. What I'm suggesting to you is that this is in quadratic form, so I'm going to look at it like a quadratic, but before we skip on to that, I just want to be honest about it and tell you, I went through all the, the normal things that I do. I look for greatest common factor. I have 4, 39, and 10. That didn't factor out well. I have x to the fourth, x squared. Here, x to the zero can't take anything out there so I'm starting to realize okay I don't have a greatest common factor thing to take out here what are the other possibilities I look at factor by grouping it's not I'm not saying it's not there I can't see it it's not obvious to me so I'm gonna try it a different way and that way is that I'm gonna look at this thing as a quadratic so here's some good news here uh, one the, the first piece of really good news is that while 4 is not prime, it, it has a limited number of factors, and I guess that's obvious, but a smaller number of factors. And then also I look at 10, and, and it doesn't seem to be, I don't know, it doesn't seem to be too bad, so I'm kind of hoping for the best here. So I'm not going to go through everything I tried, but I did try 2x squared. So as I put this together, I did try 2x squared and 2x squared here. This does work, of course, because if I multiply this times this, I do get this back. But then when I realize these other values that have to go on this side and this side, it's not going to work for me. So I kind of goofed around with this a lot. I want to be painfully clear about this, that, you know, we're not kind of messing around with little kid math anymore. We have to kind of think our way through this. It's a little bit of a game and a puzzle, and we just have to keep working. So as I tried all these different ways, I decided I'm going to try 4x squared times x squared. And that's a possibility, isn't it? This is kind of the clue right here that kind of started to help me to get it because realize I, this number here times this number over here is going to have to be a negative 10, right? So that gave me some possibilities. But when I add this, when I add the, the outer part and the inner part, I have to get 39. So I thought, you know what? If I do this and I take a positive 10 here, if I put a positive 10 here and I'm stuck over here, I have to put a negative 1, right? Because this times this has got to be negative 10. So if I put a, uh, put a positive 10 here, and positive 10 times what is negative 10, so it's the only possibility is negative 1. And then, frankly, I tested it, and I did 4x squared times 10, which is 40x squared, which is almost what I'm looking for, right? Because I'm looking for this value right here. And I realized, look, when I do the inner part, negative 1 times x squared gives me negative x squared. That worked out really pretty, didn't it? I wish I could have uh, said that it just came to me naturally and I had to do any work, but it took some work, it took some effort. Well, I was really happy. I was really proud of myself and wanted to call my mom and, and brag and hopefully she'd make me cupcakes or something. Uh, but it read back here and it says completely factor. A factor completely would have been a better way for me to have written that. And I realized this is not completely factored because what is this? And I'm working on it. I'm working on really getting better at going back and checking stuff. And I did. I went back and I checked this. And here's my question to you, which is the same question I asked myself. I asked myself, so can that be factored? And I replied to myself, why, yes, it can. And I believe, you guys, that it can be factored this way. Can you recognize this pattern? 4 is a perfect square. X squared is a perfect square. And 1 is a perfect square separated by a negative sign this is difference of squares so difference of squares says that a squared minus b squared can be factored out to a plus b times a minus b so i have to go back and ask myself well what is 4x squared as a square and 4x squared is 2x the quantity squared isn't it and this is one squared so i have to look at it this way and remember that exponents, say it again, exponents are distributable over multiplication. So if I distribute this, this goes to 2 squared, and 2 squared is 4, and it also goes to this x, and x squared certainly is x squared. So I have to keep up my factoring, and the factors come out to be x, 2x minus 1 times 2x plus 1. If you want to check that real quick, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times positive 1 is positive 2x, negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x, and positive 2x minus 2x is 0x, negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1, so that all came together. Remember, don't forget to gather all your factors, sometimes people tend to leave the other ones straggling, so 
Are these the solutions? No, friends. These are the factors. So good work. I'm really proud of you. I'm begging you. Keep work, and the more of this you work on, the harder you work on this, the more you persevere, the closer you are to becoming the genius that I know you're meant to be.